Alan Evanson lives with danger. On any day, at any hour, he must be ready to meet an impersonal yet deadly enemy, fire. It's his job. This is Alan Evanson's story, the story of a fireman. Center of the Los Angeles Fire Department. I'm John Willis. Every day of the year, on an average of 40 times a day, a fire breaks out in this city. Within the first three crucial minutes after it's reported, a fire captain, his crew, and apparatus must arrive on the scene. The captain must bear full responsibility for committing his men and equipment. In order to save threatened life and property, the captain must make the right decisions instantly. Not all men would want to assume this kind of responsibility. Alan Evanson, a fireman for five years, is one who does. At the fire station, Alan Evanson keeps in shape with a handball game. One part of any fireman's job is just waiting. When the bell rings, I always feel my chest tighten. My heart begins to pound. I tell myself to slow down. There are so many seconds and so many things to do. Too much hurry doesn't get you out of the station any faster. Men who've been firemen for 20 years never get used to the bell because you never know what you're in for. To Evanson, no two fires are the same. Each one is a special challenge to be attacked and controlled differently. In a single day, he may face as many as six fires. Emergency call at any time. Evanson works in 24-hour shifts and averages 62 hours a week. His take-home pay, $120. After working all night, Evanson returns at 8 in the morning to his home in San Pedro, a suburb of Los Angeles. And he's greeted by his children, Pamela and Alan. For three years, Evanson has been studying for a fire department examination helped by his wife, Helen. His future hinges on this exam. If he passes, he will realize his ambition to be promoted to captain. This would be pressure. We're, we're referring to static pressure. It would be uh, head times 0.434 pounds. Does oxygen burn? No, oxygen <clears throat> doesn't burn. Oxygen is a supporter of combustion. What is the discharge formula? Ever since he joined the department five years ago, Evanson has set his sights on rising in the ranks. Yet he knows that only one out of every 10 firemen passes the promotion exam that he will take. It will be part written, part oral. And protect the exposures and move in onto the fire. Ordinarily, in the fire of this nature, a direct attack on the fire is what we need to eliminate the exposure problem. Now, one more question, uh, Mr. Evanson. 
What is the most important fire that you will ever respond to? I feel that the most important fire that I'm going to have is the, the fire that I may have tomorrow or next week, the one that I'm working towards so that we can do an efficient and thorough job on it. I think that's uh, very good. Uh, Mr. Crane, I would like to pass this to you. All right. Uh, Mr. Evanson, what are some of your strong personal characteristics that would make you a good fire captain? A captain is continually making decisions. In fact, they say that this is uh, the captain's job, is decision making. Uh, I, I feel that I know that I'm the type of person that will live up to my responsibilities and I'm not afraid to make decisions. I've handled a job on an acting capacity. I've handled emergencies. I've made decisions, and I know that I can do it. Well, how about character weaknesses? All of us have certain uh, weaknesses in our character makeup that we would like to uh, correct. Uh, what are some of the weaknesses that you have? Other than the fear of coming before this oil board, I don't feel that I have any major weaknesses. Now, isn't that uh, a bit boastful? Uh, the four of us here admit that we have certain character weaknesses, and you claim that uh, you have none at all. No, I wouldn't say that I was being boastful. Well, maybe you recognize weaknesses that I don't know. The oral exam will continue for another half hour, testing Evanson's knowledge, his competence, his character. Then he'll have to wait two weeks to find out whether he'll win his promotion. I like the ocean. It's peaceful, it's quiet, and free. I've always been close to the sea. I grew up around the docks, and I live near here now. When I was in high school, I was a pretty wild kid, and I ran around with a tough crowd. At 18, I shipped out on a tanker from the docks down here. But I've changed. I'd never think of going back to sea. I'm doing what I like now. I'm happy as a fireman. Out of the 684 men who competed for a captaincy, Evanson learns that he placed 16th. He has made it. He will be promoted to captain in charge of his own engine company. If he makes good during a six-month probationary period, the promotion will become permanent. For the last time, Evanson leaves his old station. Tomorrow, Alan Evanson will take over the responsibility of commanding his own fire company. But today, he celebrates his promotion with his friends and his family. Driving to his new station house, Captain Evanson studies the neighborhood. This is now his domain, and he must know every street, every water main, every fire hazard. Evanson is in charge of Engine Company 79 in an outlying district of Los Angeles. He is responsible for the protection of five square miles, 9,000 structures, 30,000 people. Thirty years old, Evanson has four men under his command, most of them older, all of them more experienced in the department. During the first lineups, you're unsure of yourself. You know that the men are sizing you up just as you're sizing them up. It's easier not to make changes at first, but you have to. So you have to be more than just a nice guy. You have to be the captain. Careful records must be kept of every item of routine. All data on runs and fires is recorded in red ink. The business of protecting lives and property from fire has its own special bookkeeping. I drill my crew constantly to work out any weak points. You want to have a smooth working team because you can't afford mistakes in this job. 
Before, as a fireman, I handled only equipment and apparatus. Now, as a captain, I have to handle men. A fireman's day is waiting, waiting for the next alarm. They know it will come, the next minute, the next hour. But they never know how big or how dangerous it will be. Firemen must learn to wait. During his first weeks as captain, Evanson and his men fight a variety of small routine fires. They learn how to work as a team. Some runs really put a strain on you, like an overturned gasoline tanker. But I don't think about the danger. I knew what the job was before I came on. They say firemen should have fast reactions and poor imagination. If you started to think of all the things that could happen, you wouldn't stay a fireman long. This is the location of the rupture in the tank. We have to stop the leak, eliminate the flow of gasoline. Do you have any suggestions? Cap, uh, do you think there'd be a possibility of... After an unusual run, Evanson holds a blackboard drill. He and his men must not only fight fire, they must understand it. Firefighting has become a science. It's a very good possibility of backing the air. Every Friday, each fire station is inspected by the battalion chief. Because he is a rookie captain, Allen's station is given a special going over. Any misplaced equipment, any sloppiness could jeopardize Evanson's promotion. Evanson Station passes inspection, but he knows that he hasn't passed the most crucial test. He must inevitably face the day when he will bear the responsibility of fighting a major fire. For Alan Evanson, it can only be a matter of time. I'm away from home more than most men because as a fireman I have to work days and nights and I know how this kind of thing can hurt a family. So when I am home, I try to spend as much time as I can with them. I used to be a tumbler until I broke my ankle at it. Now I mainly work out with the weights. Physical fitness has always been important to me, and I want it to be important to my children. Kids love fire engines, and I get a kick out of watching them climb all over one. A lot of boys say they're going to be firemen when they grow up, but when they get older, they change their minds. Those early ambitions don't seem to last. I remember I wanted to be a cowboy. Two uneventful weeks go by for Engine Company 79. There's the usual run of small fires and long hours filled with tedium and routine.
structure fire, 1610 West Carson. hit a converging fire truck. A column of black smoke means one thing, a working fire, an extensive blaze. Now, rookie captain Alan Evanson must face his first major test. Engine Company 79 arrives within three minutes of the alarm. Evanson decides to lead a two-pronged attack on the fire. He orders one man to take a hose in through the front, to work his way toward the heart of the fire and search the lower floor for possible victims. He himself will direct the other hose and attack the fire from the side. in support. The blaze is threatening to spread. Their home in flames, a family stands by. Before their eyes, their world is changing. with ladders to scale the roof. Inside the house, Alan and his men risk the danger of falling beams, of being trapped by flames, of being overcome by fumes.
One of the men from the support company is overcome by smoke, an almost commonplace hazard in a fireman's life. Holes are chopped in the roof as an escape hatch for the heat and smoke that threatened the men inside. After 10 minutes of fighting, the fire is brought under control. Now the sparks and smoldering ashes are rooted out. was trapped in the flames. The fire was successfully confined. The house was saved. so worked up fighting a fire that you can be burned, even badly injured, and not know it. This time we were lucky, just a few burns and scrapes. A fire does something for a crew. It pulls it together. All the training and drilling suddenly pay off. And it feels good. The first company on the scene bears the brunt of the fight is often the first to go home. Engine Company 79 is relieved by another company which will continue the job of overhauling, of extinguishing the last sparks. For the first time as captain, Evanson has fought a major fire. He shouldered the responsibility and he made crucial decisions under pressure. He lived up to his own expectations. He got the job done. few minutes, Engine Company 79 will be back at its station waiting for the next alarm. Five men know that when it comes, they'll be ready to handle their share of the fight as a reliable, smooth-running team. Alan Evanson not only is a captain now, he's beginning to feel like one. <laughs> 